The seance is over. The spirits have finished. We will ask for another message. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? Please sit down. We really don't have time for this. Please sit down. Gaze into the crystal ball. Let us begin. It will answer all of our questions. Oh! 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 A long time ago, I built this house for my beautiful wife but sailed home to Spain before it was finished and never returned. But now I have come back searching for her. My wife. Where can she be? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? Who has called me forth from the great beyond? A presence wishes to be known. The spirits have spoken. We are gathered here tonight to contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Let us join hands creating an unbroken circle. Let us join hands creating an unbroken circle for the spirits to enter. Om. Um. Rose! Rose! Nancy? Get out of my room! Bye bye Pox Phobiscum. Have a celestial day. Bright blessings. Ta-ta for now. See you later. Bye. I don't remember anything else. No, I don't. Sorry. No, I haven't. How strange. Ask Charlie. I'm sure he's lost it again. I once read that some women back then liked the freedom men's clothing gave them since their lives were so restricted. A man could go anywhere and do almost anything. A woman couldn't. I don't think so. I really didn't go through them that much. There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the study, your bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time. Watching me. Not for San Francisco. Rents are really high, and there are so many kids thinking they can find cheap housing out here. It's sad to say, but a lot of them end up on the streets. I don't know. You might want to ask Rose. He doesn't talk much about his private life. I'm not sure. He said he's between apartments. I think he said he's staying with friends until he can find a place of his own. Yes, I'm sure. I've been very careful with everything. For the publicity! But I really do think there's something going on in this house. I really believe it's haunted. I'm just enhancing the spectral experience. And so it is, I admit it. But I had you fooled there, didn't I? If I can fool Nancy Drew, I'm sure I'll be able to fool even our most skeptical guests. I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Gumbo Foo? I love gumbo. What kind of gumbo is gumbo foo? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. It must be one of our phantom residents. I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yes, they're very popular in bed and breakfast. They usually contain old photographs, letters, documents, things like that. Right in my room. They're so vintage. I'm going to ask Louis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Ugh. It's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. There's more to this house than you think, Nancy. You probably don't believe me, and with good reason, I admit it. But there are some mysteries in life best left unsolved. Of course not! I've had nothing to do with these accidents. They cost us both time and money. 
If you want to find out who's behind the accidents, ask our resident handyman. Okay, so I staged part of the seance, but that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. Never mind, it doesn't concern you. You look kind of tired. Maybe it's time to get some sleep. Hello? Hi, Nancy. I can't believe we had a fire. I can't believe it. I bet Charlie was down there before it started. Hi, Nancy. I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. The spirits wish to speak to you, Nancy. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. You mean, why would someone want to destroy the house and you know what? I can think of a million reasons why. Because he's always around at the scene of these accidents. I told Rose to fire him, but she won't listen to me. Isn't it obvious? Senior Valdez and his wife, long-lost soulmates wandering aimlessly in the netherworld, returning to this house to search for each other. Ah, <sighs> I only hope that one day I will be able to reunite them so that they may find peace. Spirits are notoriously stubborn. Perhaps you offended him. Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. I sense a very strong but restless spirit within these walls. And a restless spirit can soon become an angry spirit. Do you dare mock the supernatural? Just bear in mind what I've told you about this place. Spirits of the deceased can do unimaginable harm, especially to those who don't believe. <laughs> I know many things. I know how to communicate with the spirits, and I know things about people that they don't tell me. Call it intuition or ESP. The spirits in this house are interested in you, especially since you don't believe in them. Watch out. They may give you a rough time just to get your attention. Goodbye. Bye, Bye Nancy. Nancy. Good night. See ya. Bye. Call, Call us. us. Bye, Nancy. Bye. What happened? Um, I got caught snooping around, and Rose asked me to leave. Oh, no. Now you won't be able to solve the mystery. Better luck next time, I guess. That's too bad. And to think you could have saved the day. And helped out Rose. I know, I know. If only I had another chance. I'd be a lot more careful the next time around. What happened? Oh, no. Now you won't be able to solve the mystery. That's too bad. And to think you could have saved the day. And helped out Rose. And you just let him get away? There was nothing I could do. I'm sure there was something you could have done to stop him. Well, you probably had to act fast and didn't have enough time. I guess this mystery's solved. Unfortunately, the bad guy got away. This time. And you just let him get away? I'm sure there was something you could have done to stop him. Well, you probably had to act fast and didn't have enough time. You did what? Um, I unhooked the chandelier and it crashed to the floor. I can't believe it. No wonder Rose asked you to leave. I don't know what got into me. Sounds like you really goofed up. Just don't vandalize the next house you stay in, okay? Especially if it's ours. You did what? I can't believe it. No wonder Rose asked you to leave. Sounds like you really goofed up. Just don't vandalize the next house you stay in, okay? Especially if it's ours. It looks like you've got a couple of puzzles to solve. And you're the only one who can solve them. The solution to the safe must be nearby. Or scattered all over the house. Or both. My room is looking good. It's fun to redecorate. How's your room, Nancy? Notice anything different? What in the world is gumbo foo? You'll need to ask around to find that out. Sorry, Nancy. I don't speak Chinese. Neither do I. Who does? Did you ever find what Lewis found in that book? Check out the book Lewis took. Or just play computer games. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Find a peephole behind the fireplace. And check out what Lewis is doing. The phoenix only rises when the man is away. Match up the tiles in the correct sequence. It's as easy as ABC. That fireplace sure would look nice with all of its tiles in place. Try reading up on it. 
You never know what you'll find in the library. If only you could find all those ornamental tiles for the mantle. We usually store ornaments in the attic. Nancy, quick! Put out that fire! It's right under your nose! Oh, I'm getting tired of this, aren't you, George? <sighs> yeah, time to get some sleep. Good, Good night. night! Don't be dumb. And don't be a waiter. Use the iron! Talk to you later! Spin the spindles on the stairway. Spelling out the hidden name of the bandit. If there's a hidden message in the music... Then only music can decode it! Play the bandit's treasure on the piano. You never know what you'll get if you improvise a little bit. Find the key to the desk in the attic. Or just sleep on it. The key to the attic is probably as far away from the lock as possible. To scrape the paint, you'll need the right tool. Check out where Charlie may have used it last. Remember, Nancy, Rose didn't invite you to talk on the phone all day. Yeah, she's counting on you to help. So, help out. I suspect... You need to find some. Sorry, Nancy. You're on your own. I'm clueless. What do you think, Bess? Nope. I'm stumped. Give us a call later. We might be more help then. We'll help you out. But to make it a little bit more challenging... We'll make our hints a little bit more difficult. We'll be more than happy to help. But it might be more fun to figure it out on your own. Okay, we'll help you. But since you're a senior detective... We'll make the hints a little harder. Really? Now you can spy on people. Yeah, and see who's reading what. Or get a good look at the resident ghost. It sounds Chinese. Call Emily. She'll know. Find out what it is. He's up to something, Nancy. I'm sure it'd be okay if you looked in his briefcase. Yeah, but it's probably locked. Just look in his laptop for the password. Do you think she's giving up and wants to cash in on the insurance money? That doesn't make sense. Why risk that? Couldn't she just sell the house? It's a possibility you should look into, Nancy. Who could it be? Probably Charlie. Doesn't he spend most of his time down there? Look around for clues. Who knows what he's up to? Things are really starting to heat up, Nancy. Ugh, and so are the bad puns. Why would someone want to burn those papers? I bet there was something in them that was important. I'd take another look at the scene of the fire for any clues. Yeah, that's a good idea. Did you actually see the ghost? Yeah, right. I'm sure it was some kind of trick. Abby sounds suspicious. Yeah, maybe she's hiding something. She probably knows more about the house than she's admitting. Valdez! Golden gardenias? I thought they were all white. That's it! Don't you see? The hotel has gold hidden in it, and Valdez is watching over it. I don't think so, Bess. The bandit's treasure? Maybe there is treasure in the house. There's probably a lot of clues about the house in there. Oh, what was in the desk? That makes sense. If the house was built before 1906, most of its records were probably destroyed in the earthquake. But wouldn't he know at least something about it if he's some kind of expert on old things? I'm sure he knows a lot about old stuff, just not architecture or houses. Maybe he doesn't charge very much, so he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Or maybe he's just cute. <laughs> Bess, is that all you can think about? No. <laughs> Put the crystal in the phoenix's eye in the front entry. That should help you find where the gold is hidden. But be careful, Nancy. If all else fails, remember. What goes up must come down. Good luck. Remember the dollar bill with the eye in the pyramid? Open the pyramid box in the safe. It must hold the eye of the phoenix. You've got to open that safe, Nancy. The poem in your room must be the combination. And those symbols on the safe are probably Chinese translations for some of the words in the poem. If the symbols are put into the same order as the words they represent in the poem... Then maybe the safe will open! Look where the tapestry was in your room. The panels will probably give way if you push them in the right sequence. If you're still stumped, find a book on the Chinese Zodiac to find out the correct order. Talk to people about that gumbo foo. Then check to see what Rose has to say. I'm not sure what gumbo foo means. Neither do I. Why don't you call Emily Foxworth and ask her? Read the book that Lewis put in his briefcase. It probably holds an important clue. See what Lewis put in his briefcase. Solve that maze puzzle on his laptop to find the password to the combination lock. Look and see if Rose has Lewis's schedule on her desk. Enter the secret passageway right before he comes in and see what he's up to. Pull on any gadgets around the fireplace to open the secret passageway. That's how they do it in the movies. Just make sure nobody sees you. Figure out how those towels you found fit into the library's mantle. They may open up a hidden passageway. Check out the library shelves for more hidden clues and objects. You need to find all those fireplace tiles. Take a good look around the attic. Look around in the parlor. The tool you need must be there somewhere. Maybe it's time to take a nap. You sure have been busy.
but you don't want to look too suspicious. Tie the iron you found in the attic to the broken dumbwaiter and see what it contains. Diego must be the solution for the spindle puzzle on the staircase. See if that works. Take the piano roll you found and lay it on top of the music sheet in the attic. It could reveal an important clue. Check out the music in the attic desk. I bet the different notes are a combination for the piano puzzle. Open up that old desk in the attic. Find a tool in the basement to help you pry open that loose bedpost in your room. It might contain the key to the desk. Find a way to get into that secret attic you found. It must contain important clues. Search the whole house for a key. Especially the basement. Find the tool you need to scrape off those tiles upstairs. Try looking around the front of the house. Talk to Rose and see if she has a renovation project for you. Just remember to finish what you start. Have you met everyone? See if Rose has any information on whoever is working in the house. She probably has a schedule on her desk. You'll never believe this, but things have gotten even more complicated. I found some clues that there might be buried treasure in the house. Wow! Oh, Nancy, it sounds like you've got a real case on your hands. How can we help? Hello? Hi, Bess. Oh, what time is it? Nancy, it's way past my bedtime. Give me a call in the morning. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hello, what's new? Hello? Hi, Bess. What's up? You'll never believe this, but things have gotten even more complicated. I found some clues that there might be buried treasure in the house. Wow! Oh, Nancy, it sounds like you've got a real case on your hands. How can we help? This is Bess. And George. Hello, you two. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Hello? Hello, it's me. Hi, Nancy. How's the case coming along? Get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Best Marvin's room. How may I help you? <laughs> Hi, George. Hi, Nancy. How are things going? Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. George is here. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi, George. Hey, what's up? I'm in San Francisco, helping a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, some strange accidents have delayed the project. Uh-oh. So, tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? But now, things have gotten a bit more complicated. I found some clues that suggest that there might be buried treasure in the house. Wow! Oh, Nancy, this sounds so exciting. How can we help? Do you know anything about the house's history? That might help you find the treasure. Sounds like you've got another case on your hands. Have you asked everybody about these accidents? A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Well, get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. Sounds like you've got another case on your hands. Have you asked everybody about these accidents? Not yet, but I will. So, what are you two up to? Well, speaking of renovations, George is redecorating her room and staying with me till it's done. But we haven't had any accidents. Except when you spilled the soda all over the carpet. Okay, but it wasn't very unusual. And thanks, Nancy, for keeping my secret. I'll tell Rose. Later, later, later. Hasta la pasta. Hasta la pasta. Hasta la pasta. I'll be here if you need me. I'll be here if you need me. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So long, so long, so long. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Nancy. See you around. See you around. See you around. See you around. See ya. See ya. See ya. Goodbye. 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 You mean the dumb waiter? It's like a mini elevator. It's broken right now. The elevator is stuck between the two floors and the pulley ropes are cut. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? You're the second person who's asked me that. Lewis also wanted to know. Well, except for, you know, my secret apartment. You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. I think she's hiding something. She always gets these packages and won't let anyone open them for her. You mean without her knowing? I wouldn't if I were you. Peppy's very touchy about her room. She guards it like Fort Knox. I was homeless, camping out in parks. One day I was looking for a place to get out of the rain, so I ducked under some bushes and found this hidden panel that led to the secret room. Nancy, I didn't mean any harm. I just needed a place to live. No, I sure don't. I know I had one before, but I forgot where I put it. Sorry. Yeah, I left one up in the entry somewhere. It should be there. Just look around, you'll find it. I just started to write it, so I don't know very much about the robbery. It's hard to separate fact from fiction, especially when most of the information is based on rumors. I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. It was definitely El Diablo. 
but no one knows who he was. In my opinion, El Diablo never existed. He was a composite of different outlaws from that era. Nobody knows. Some historians say that the bank faked the robbery to collect the insurance money. I was wondering where it was. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Luckily, I had a backup at the school. I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose is sort of hatty, you know? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. I'd better not say any more. Sorry. I'd better not say any more. Sorry. I'd better not say any more. Sorry. Please don't tell Rose. I have no place to stay. I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Yeah, I just read a book on him for my history class. I'd really rather not talk about that right now. Rose told me all about it. So how are things coming along? Anything I can help you out with? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Once I saw Lewis tapping on the floors and walls. He could have been checking for termites, but it was kind of weird if you ask me. I have seen some odd things down here, like Abby's seance. It's a deal, and I will tell Rose. What do you need? Everyone thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there. But I had nothing to do with them. I can tell you this. There's something unusual going on in this house. Hey, Nancy. Hey, there's been another accident. You've got to believe me. I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Hey, Nancy, I see you survived Abby's seance. Man, that Veldez guy sure sounded creepy. Hey, Nancy, I really need to finish this up. Sorry. Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one. So I returned it. Not much. Uh, Lewis told me it was built in the 1880s and that it survived the 1906 earthquake. Well, I'm taking classes at the local community college. I really like history. That's why it's neat to live. I, I mean, work here. Because everything is so old. It's got real character. I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. I know, but I learn quickly. Even Lewis said so. Have you met him yet? He's helping Rose with the house. Yeah, he showed me how to do some of the remodeling work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. No, I am. I, I mean, I, I know Rose is all concerned, but... You've got to expect a few things to get out of control with these big projects. Accidents happen, you know? Um, yeah. Well, now that you're here, sure. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work. But I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. A long time ago, I built this house for my beautiful wife, but sailed home to Spain before it was finished and never returned. But now I have come back searching for her. My wife. Where can she be? I was once called that in the world of the living. Who has called me forth from the great beyond? Oh, yes, it's pretty late. You should get some sleep. Talk to you later. If you think of anything else, give me a call in the morning. I hope we'll talk soon. Good night. Goodbye, Nancy. Keep me posted, okay? Call anytime. Yes, Carlotta Valdez. Didn't you ever see Vertigo? What's up with you kids these days? No. After that whole incident with Carlotta in the 1700s, you don't find that name around here anymore. Yeah, you'd think that, but I've never heard of any in San Francisco, except for Treasure Island out in the bay. But that's named after the book, not some legend. Oh, you could write a book on that. The Spanish were the first Europeans to settle this area during the 1700s, and it stayed that way until after the Mexican-American War when it was handed over to the United States. It couldn't have happened at a better time because gold was discovered outside the city not more than two years later. That's what San Francisco was called back during the Spanish colonial period, but no one calls it that anymore. Hmm, sounds Chinese to me. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? It may have something to do with the house. In the meantime, I'll ask my friends about it. Gumbo foo. No. But I've read that many houses were only partially rebuilt after the Great Earthquake, closing off damaged rooms from the rest of the house. Oh no, this one was downtown. It was very big, but I think it burned down. I seem to remember that she did, but I'm not sure. She became sort of a recluse after her theater days. Oh sure, she was a good friend of Lotta Crabtree, another popular actress in the late 1800s. As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriental... I forget. Nope, never heard of him. That name sounds very familiar. Let me look into it. Lewis Chandler. Bandit's treasure. Oh! 
You mean the play! The rep did a season where they performed old local plays, including the bandit's treasure. I've never seen it, but I hear the music is fantastic. No, but it sounds like some turn-of-the-century charity. There were all these private agencies that helped out widows and orphans before the government took on that role. Ooh, that sounds valuable. It's hard to find old documents like that before 1906. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. The Chinese have been an important part of San Francisco history for over a hundred years. The symbols are called Hanzi, and each one represents a particular thing, or an idea, or an action. You find them all over on business cards, takeout cartons, artwork. If you ever need something translated from Chinese, let me know. I've got oodles of friends who can help me. Oh, dear, am I talking too much? <laughs> I get so distracted at times, I tend to get carried away a bit. So how are you, Nancy? Why did you call? Is there anything I can help you out with? Wait, don't go yet. How are you doing? Anything Emily Foxworth can help you out with? There are 12 animals in the Chinese Zodiac. Let's see if I can remember them. Uh, there's the dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog. Oh, what's the next one? Oh, yes. The boar, rat, ox, tiger, and, uh, oh, rabbit. Each one represents a year. So, for example, if you were born in 1930, then you would have been born in the year of the horse. Oh, yes. Many of the early Victorians were destroyed in the fires after the Great Earthquake in 1906. It's often quite difficult to find out about a house's history before that time. No, I don't. I have a gift for gab, but not for languages. But I love languages, especially Chinese. Did you know that every word in Chinese is represented by a symbol called Hanzi? Can you imagine learning a new symbol for every new word? Maybe. Maybe. What do you mean? What do you mean? What? What? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I think you're in the heights. The hate has many Victorians that have been restored, and a lot of them have been converted into bed and breakfasts. Nah, nah. You don't say. You don't say. Really? Really? Okay, okay. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. I have no idea. I have no idea. No, no. Yes, yes. Honey, you've already won the game. What are you calling me for? Honey, you've already won the game. What are you calling me for? Didn't you just call me? Didn't you just call me? The big one, yes. There was a huge increase in the city's population, and San Francisco had a reputation for being a lawless frontier town. Lots of people made a quick fortune here and lost it just as fast. After the gold rush, San Francisco had a building boom, but most of the great Victorian mansions weren't built until the late 1800s. Nowadays, it's very popular to convert them into bed and breakfasts. They're named after Queen Victoria, who pretty much defined high society in the late 1800s. Oh, sure. Many of the Victorians have rooms with themes, usually colors or cultures. I once spent a night in a Victorian where each room had a bird theme. Don't laugh, but I stayed in the nuthatch room. Oh, you know, the usual. Pyramids, bazaars, the Sphinx. But what are you up to, Nancy? Why'd you call? Is there anything I can help you out with? Well, the dragon is the only mythical creature in the Chinese zodiac, and it represents strength and prosperity. A golden dragon is considered very lucky because gold represents wealth. Chinese dragons. My editor thought this would make a great topic for a photo essay. The dragon is a very important symbol in Chinese culture. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy as it looks. My editor gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the dragons of San Francisco. Hmm, seems to be the trend these days. I'll bet you're staying in the Haight-Ashbury district. <sighs> what time is it? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm up. So, Nancy, how are you? You're not in San Francisco, are you? Nancy Drew? I haven't heard from you in ages. How's Hannah in River Heights? You're not in San Francisco, are you, my dear? This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Hi, you've reached Emily. Wait for the beep and talk to the machine. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy. Listen, my dear, I'm off to a photo shoot in Mexico, even though I don't know why they're sending me down there again. I just got back a couple of months ago, but who knows what goes on in my editor's mind, always thinking of new ways to make my life miserable. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I'll find out what that phrase means before I go, okay? Okay, good luck. Hello? Hi, Emily. It's Nancy. Nancy, it's really too late to be calling me. Give me a call tomorrow morning. Hello? Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Hi, it's Nancy. Hello. How's the renovation work coming along? Hi, Emily. Nancy, I was just thinking about you. How are you? Hello. It's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. 
How's your case coming along? Emily Foxworth speaking. Hello? This is Emily. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Don't work too hard. Goodbye, dear. Nancy, what's wrong? Did something happen? Rose is very touchy about people's privacy. You should have known better. Well... Better luck next time. Nancy, this is awful news. Lewis stole the treasure hidden in Rose's house. Rose really could have used that money. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. Oh, if only things had turned out differently. Well, all right, dear. Let me know if you need anything. Well, I should let you get back to your renovation work. Thank you for calling. There's probably no reason for concern. But be on the lookout for anything unusual. That's terrible. He probably has no place to stay. That's nice, dear. I have no idea what that means. But give Emily a call. She knows all about San Francisco legends. That doesn't sound very suspicious. What was the book about? Strange accidents? Secret rooms? Seances? The more I hear about this house, the more I wonder what Rose has gotten herself into. No, not at all. Rose loves that house. It's her dream come true. I can't imagine her doing something like that. She's very determined to open that B&B. Thank goodness. I just hope nobody was hurt. Rose told me she was afraid that house was a fire trap. I'm just so glad you were there to save the place. Keep it well hidden, Nancy. Whoever is behind these accidents may know about the treasure. Good luck and be careful. Hmm, perhaps it does. Nancy. Keep this a secret until you get to the bottom of these strange events. Don't even tell Rose. The less everyone knows, the more you can investigate without creating suspicion. Well, you didn't think it was for real, did you? Don't worry, Rose, about this. She has enough on her mind already. I just can't imagine why Abby would go to all that trouble. I shouldn't be saying this, but Rose told me there's been some strange things going on. She's very fond of roses and likes to have fresh flowers about. But as soon as she puts them out, they die. It's very odd. Haunted? No, Rose is a very practical person. I couldn't imagine that she believes in ghosts. Although she's told me she's been a bit spooked these past couple of weeks. No, she never mentioned the name. Seance? Good heavens, he's found some Victorian antiques at good prices, and he's making sure the renovations are done correctly. Oh, no, they're not dating or anything, but I can tell Rose likes him very much. Oh, yes, Rose has mentioned Lewis several times. She's really fond of him and is very grateful for his help. I don't remember the name, but I do remember that a young man had inherited it from some distant relative and had to sell it very quickly to pay the inheritance tax. He accepted Rose's bid, even though it was very low. Nothing particular. I know she's concerned that Charlie may have inadvertently caused some of them, but she doesn't think it was intentional. Rose told me he's a fine young fellow, but a little rough around the edges. I believe she said he's studying history at a community college. I could never get a straight answer out of her. She was always pretending to be someone she obviously wasn't. I don't think she did it to be rude. She was probably just practicing for some part. Oh, no, I didn't mean it in a bad sense. Abby has always been very helpful to Rose, and they've always gotten along very well. I don't know Abby very well, but I never felt comfortable with her. I can't put my finger on it, but she just seemed, oh, I don't know, like she wasn't who she really was, like she was putting on an act. Maybe. Maybe. What do you mean? What do you mean? What? What? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No. No. You don't say. You don't say. Really? Really? Okay. Okay. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. I have no idea. I have no idea. No. No. Yes. Yes. I just made a wonderful breakfast of ham sausage, biscuits, and your father's favorite butter and cream hollandaise sauce. Nancy, I thought you'd be home by now. What are you still doing in San Francisco? I thought you'd finished your case. She's a friend of Rose who helped her buy the house. She's very interesting. Eccentric, I suppose, is the word. Abby has always been a little dramatic. But Rose tells me she really believes in that spiritualism stuff. A waste of time, if you ask me. In a month or two, Rose spent her entire life savings on the house. If this doesn't work out, she won't have 30 more years to earn the money back. <sighs> I don't know. 
Rose is under a lot of pressure to open that bread and breakfast on time, and I'm worried that it may be too much for her. She doesn't say much, but I know they've become worse and worse. That's one of the reasons why I asked you to visit her to see if everything is all right. Doesn't she look great? You'd never think she was a day over 50. I met Rose at the River Heights Community Theater after she retired from the school district, don't you remember? Abby was working with us, too. Have you met Abby yet? I'm so happy you're out there. But I'm worried about all the accidents she's having. There's just been so many. Hi, Nancy. Yes, Nancy. What can I do for you? Good morning. How are you? Nancy, how are you? And how's Rose? Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. You have reached the Drew Residence. Please leave your name and number after the tone. Thank you. Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. What are you trying to do? Why, you good for nothing? Good day. Thank you, Nancy. Nice to see you again. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nancy. <laughs> I'm sure she played some roles where she had to dress as a man. But she was quite an elegant woman, quite fashionable for her time. Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. Oh, that one. Yes, it's just some cheap Chinatown souvenir. No, I haven't. A popular charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. These rooms were hidden for purely cosmetic reasons. Unsightly areas, such as attics, were often concealed so as not to ruin the overall decor of the house. Hidden treasure? Now that sounds straight out of some mystery novel. No. Yes, I certainly do. She was a very popular actress in the late 1800s. She was very generous and left all of her money to the Ladies' Protection Society. No doubt the book I have locked in my briefcase, I thought someone had been in there. I think I'll need to have a word with Rose about this. Where did you hear that? I leave that decision up to her. She's put an extraordinary amount of time and money into it, and I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. But whatever her decision, I will assist her however I can. No, I haven't. But I have found hidden rooms in other Victorians. No, I don't. Uh, now, now I remember. I, I was to purchase an antique fire screen, but never found a suitable match. I feel just terrible. I must apologize to Rose about this. I see. As I recall, it means House of Great Books. After the Great Earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses Gumbo Fu. Yes, it's a mythical bird-like creature that builds a nest every 500 years and then sets itself on fire to rise forth, reborn from its ashes. It's a very popular symbol in the Bay Area. In fact, there's one on the main staircase. No, I haven't. I hardly ever leave the library. That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. It's a gallery, not a store, and it's called Chandler Interiors, specializing in the Victorian period. I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Of course, although it never actually occurred. Fictional history, a folk legend, a complete myth. But nonetheless, it's still a fascinating story even though it isn't true. E. Valdez. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. Yes, Nancy. I'm sorry, but I really must finish my work. Perhaps Abby can assist you. Ah, Nancy. What a shame to have lost those papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Hello, Nancy. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Not for my purposes, no. But they must have had some sentimental value. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment. And although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. Accidents? I know Rose has mentioned some inconveniences, like that wall covering and the light supplies but I would hardly call those accidents. Research. This library contains many rare books and documents that predate the Great Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself.
Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer, and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. What? Hey! I knew it! There must be over a million dollars in here! So long, losers! Hey! Hey! Get me out of here! What the? What are you doing in there? I'll be right there! Aha! That's it. You have become completely distracted by all of the spiritualism stuff. I think you were in the parlor, either burning candles or using that flash paper. Well, excuse me for trying to find some ways to promote this place. It's good business sense. Well, I guess we won't have to worry about advertising if the mansion burns down. You've given up. You want the mansion to burn to the ground. That way you won't have to worry about losing your investment. You'll just collect the insurance. How dare you? Are you accusing me of fraud? I'm sorry, Rose. I don't know. It's just... All these accidents and now this? I know you're dedicated to this house. I'm sorry for doubting you. Let's just finish up these curtains. I think the stress of the last few weeks has finally gotten the better of us. My wife! Where can she be? I have come back searching for her. My wife, where can she be? Please sit down. We really don't have time for this. This, whatever you call it. Let us begin. We are gathered here tonight to contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Let us join hands creating an unbroken circle for the spirits to enter. Gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. What's that? A presence wishes to be known. Who has called me forth from the great beyond? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? <gasps> oh! I have come back searching for her. My wife. Where can she be? What do you want from us? The spirits have spoken. The seance is over. Are you finished? We've got a busy day tomorrow. And no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. <gasps> are you missing any papers? Why are there dead roses in the parlor? Whose laptop is that in the library? Do you know why there's a speaker in the air vent? Do you think Charlie is responsible for these accidents? Have you found any rainbow designs in the house? What is Abby planning for tonight? Have you heard of someone named Lizzie Applegate? Excuse me for prying, but why did you spend so much money to insure the house against fire? How did you meet Abby? How do you know Lewis? How did you find Charlie? Where did Abby find those papers that are in the parlor? I already found fixed it. Sort of. What was Lewis's advice? What did the fire department say? What advice? I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. That's too bad. And you've done such a terrific job with the renovation. Do you know much about the original owner? I can understand your frustration, Rose. Do you think it's just bad luck? A saloon? Oh, this place really does have a history. Who was the original owner? Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm still working on them. I finished it! Okay, but I still haven't finished it. I can't wait. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I sure am. This house must have quite a history. 
What do you know about it? I won't keep you any longer. Did Lizzie ever wear men's clothing? Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? What was the Ladies Protection Society? Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? I read about it in a magazine. I came across it in a book. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Do you think Rose should sell the house? What were these rooms used for? Really? Did you ever find hidden treasure in these rooms? Have you found any secret passageways in this house? Do you know why the fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen? Do you know what a phoenix is? Have you seen a paint scraper anywhere? Was this house once a hotel? What kind of antique store do you own? Have you ever heard of the great Christmas gold robbery? I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire? What are you looking for in these books? What do you think could be the cause of these accidents Rose has been having. Do you believe the house is haunted? Abby seems to think so. You must know a lot about the house's history. Do you think a ghost is causing these accidents? What are you using the library for? Abby thinks the mansion is haunted. Are you researching the history of this house? Are you a friend of Rose? Were the papers very valuable? Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? Pleased to meet you. My name is Nancy Drew. Are you a friend of Rose? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. I came out to help Rose and Abby with the renovations. Too bad no one will ever find out about it. Gold! And to think I was standing on it all along. Ha 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 ha! Ah! It stuck. Golden wonder. And hidden beneath a river of colors, the king of the sky will shine his ray when the moon sleeps and the sun plays. When the bird of fire can see again, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the ten daughters are reunited in order, and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams, and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his ray, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. Boy, that sure sounded corny. Another day, another dollar. I sure am keeping odd hours. <sighs> <sighs> I could use some coffee. Rise and shine. It must be the jet lag that's making me so sleepy. Ooh, I must have needed a lot of beauty sleep. I think I'm turning into a vampire. Talk about sleeping in. Sheesh. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <sighs> Morning, Nancy. Time to get back on the case. And to think I was standing on it all along. It's stuck. I did it. Hmm. Lewis is up to something. It's so dark in here. I can't see where I'm going. He's hiding something in his briefcase. It won't fit. I should return the spider so Abby doesn't suspect anything. It's too late. Fire. Hmm. Gumbo foo? What's that? Dear Bess. I'm just about finished with my renovation work and counting out all of those gold coins. Lewis was behind all of the accidents, hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house so he could find the treasure himself. Although Rose and Abby may not have a legal right to the gold, the bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for finding it. The house also has gotten a lot of publicity with all of the news stories, and the place is booked solid for the first month of its opening. I guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days, even if there are no such things as ghosts. Uh, I think. See you soon, Nancy. I don't want to wake her. It's missing an eye. I've got to stop him before he gets away. Lewis? Gold! Good luck. Junior detective is a little easier, so you might want to start there. So that's it. I'll return you to the player challenge screen where you can start the game. If you make a major mistake, like blow up something or get hurt, you can always select second chance from the main menu to start where you left off. And if you get stuck, 
Try calling Bess or George. At the bottom left is a little pocket watch where you can check the time in the game. Okay, we're almost done. Whatever. Well, as long as it's not catching, it's fine by me. If there's a lot of words in the text box, those bars to the right move up and down. Sometimes people have too much to say. Great! Ever since my parachuting accident, I've had a limp. I'm not doing so hot. I'm doing very well, thank you. Hello there. How are you today? Try it out. In the game, you can talk to people by choosing a reply in the text box next to the toolbox. The person you're talking to will appear in blue, and my replies will be in white. Just click one of my responses to see what they'll say. Très bien, as they say in France. One more lesson and you'll have all of my moves down. Try it out. Pick up the key and open my suitcase. Pretty neat, huh? To use these objects, just move your mouse over them in your toolbox to the right and click on them. Notice, your cursor will turn into that item. Just click on the area where you want to use it. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? To use these objects, just move your mouse over them in your inventory box to the right and click on them. Notice, your cursor will turn into that item. Just click on the area where you want to use it. I'll give you a key to my suitcase to show you what these objects look like. All right. When you find something useful in the game, you can pick it up and carry it around with you. Good job! When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Move your cursor to the edge of the screen and click your mouse button. Now, turn around and click on my suitcases. When you want to go back to where you came from or turn around, Find where your cursor turns into a U-turn at the bottom of the screen and click your mouse button. Try it now. <gasps> Very good! You can use the red magnifying glass to open and close things, pick up objects, move things, and get around the different places you'll visit. Move your mouse around and find an area where the magnifying glass turns red and then click on it. I always carry my magnifying glass around to search for clues. When it turns red, Click your mouse button to see what I have found. Try it out. In this game, you get to fill my shoes and try to solve the mystery. You'll see the world through my eyes and choose what I do. And I can do many things. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Welcome to my latest cyber mystery, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click on the tutorial button to learn how to play the game. I should wait until I'm alone. I need a disc. <coughs> I need a tape. Where's the fire? It's good to know it's here. I need a paint scraper. I should wait until he leaves. The cover is on too tight. The rope is cut. Something's missing here. Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? There's something hidden here. It's locked. I don't want to bother her. Uh, I don't want to disturb her. She sounds busy. Dear Bess, hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Love, Nancy. It's getting late. Time for bed. I just wanted to let you know I arrived safely. Goodbye, Hannah. I should get back to work. Goodbye. Nancy, what's wrong? Did something happen? Abby caught me in her room, and now Rose wants me to leave. She says she can't trust me. Rose is very touchy about people's privacy. You should have known better. I suppose so. Well, better luck next time. I suppose so. Abby caught me in her room, and now Rose wants me to leave. She says she can't trust me. Nancy, this is awful news. Louis stole the treasure hidden in Rose's house. Yes. I feel just terrible that I let him get away. Rose really could have used that money. I guess I let her down. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. Oh, if only things had turned out differently. I guess I let her down. Yes. I feel just terrible that I let him get away. It turns out Charlie is the one living in the basement. Louis's book mentioned that this house was once called Gumbo Foo in the 1800s. Lewis is up to something. 
I saw him take a book from the library. This house is full of surprises. I found a secret room in the basement where someone's been living. Hannah, do you think Rose could have started the fire to collect the insurance on the house? There was a fire in the parlor, but I put it out in time. I'm certain there's treasure buried somewhere here, and I think I found the treasure map. Now if only I can decipher it and see where it leads me. I just found a hidden attic. I wonder if it has anything to do with all these accidents. Abby faked the seance. She rigged a table with a projector. Spooked? Do you know the name of the person who sold Rose the house? Has Rose ever mentioned that the house may be haunted? Has Rose ever mentioned someone by the name of Valdez? Have you heard about the seance Abby hosted for Rose and me? How has he been helpful? Oh? Is there more between them than what I'm seeing? Did you know Rose has a resident expert on Victorians? History. Oh, that reminds me. Do you know who Rose bought the house from? Has Rose said anything about him and the accidents? I met Rose's handyman, Charlie. He seems nice. Do you think Rose should be concerned about Abby? Abby is very strange. She really is convinced there's a ghost somewhere in the house. Rose mentioned some accidents she's been having. What do you know about them? When is she planning to open it? I imagine the mansion was very expensive. This mansion must have cost a fortune. How did she afford it? Do you suspect there's something more to these accidents? Rose mentioned some accidents she's had. What do you know about them? Yes, she thinks the house is haunted. No, I haven't. Tell me about her. I didn't realize Rose was so young. How did you meet her? What has Rose said about them? Fine, but I didn't realize she was so young. How did you meet her? Great! I'm really glad you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. Hi, Hannah. I should get going. Talk to you later. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. I just wanted to give you a call and let you know I'm in town. I'll talk to you later. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Carlotta, do you know anything about Valdez? <laughs> With all of that gold around, I'd imagine there's a lot of buried treasure in this town. Tell me about the Spanish and San Francisco. Do you know where Yerba Buena town is? Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? Have you ever come across hidden rooms in Victorian mansions? Was it in this neighborhood? Is it still around? Did she open any other hotels? Have you heard of an actress, Lizzie Applegate? Have you heard of an antique dealer named Louis Chandler? What do you know about the bandit's treasure? Have you ever heard of the Ladies' Protection Society? I found some old papers in the house, plus a page from a phone directory dated 1894. Can you tell me about the Chinese writing system? I seem to come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Hi, it's Nancy. Hi, Emily. Hello, it's Nancy Drew. Were many of these mansions destroyed by earthquakes? The gold rush was in 1849, right? Well, I guess that beats the turkey room. Are there a lot of Victorian mansions here in San Francisco? <laughs> You're kidding. Why do they call these mansions Victorians? Tell me more about the Chinese zodiac. I know you've traveled to China, but... Do you speak Chinese? The room where I'm staying in has a couple of dragons in it. So it seems. My room is full of Chinese decorations. Why is that? Dragons of San Francisco sounds exotic. What kind of dragons are you researching? I hope you won't be riding them. What were you doing in Egypt? The address is 4653 California Lane. Is that anywhere near there? I'm not sure. The place is located on California Lane. 4653, I think is the number. I just wanted to give you a call and let you know I'm in town. I'll talk to you later. I sure am. I'm staying with Rose Green, a friend of Hannah's, in a Victorian mansion. I'm helping out with renovations. Actually, I am. I'm helping one of Hannah's friends, Rose Green, renovate this wonderful old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. I'll let you get back to your renovation. What is that small closet in the hallway for? Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Have you come across any hidden passageways down here? Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? Why is she so protective? Do you know how I can get into Abby's room? I really think you should tell Rose. But I'll keep your secret if you help me out. Charlie. Do you know where I can find a paint scraper? Whatever happened to the gold? Was it El Diablo who stole the gold? Or someone else? Did you ever figure out whatever happened to the gold? That must be an interesting paper you're writing. Charlie, I found this diskette. 
I think it's yours. How does Abby get on Rose's nerves? Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? How do you like working for Abby? Why do you live in there? How did you find the room? Charlie, I know your secret. I know you're living in the hidden room behind the saloon. Did he have any children? Was he from San Francisco? Have you ever heard of someone named Valdez? Can you tell me more about the accidents? What do you think is causing all these accidents? Have you met Louis Chandler? What do you know about him? I'm guessing you saw Abby's seance. What else have you seen from that two-way mirror? What other secrets do you know about this house? What makes you say that? So, do you have any proof? And that's all there is to it? Who's Lewis? Do you have any idea why there's been so many accidents on this project? No, I haven't met him yet. Does he work for Rose? I guess. I take it you have a lot of experience with historical renovations. Sure, but... Why so many? What do you know about the history of this place? What do you think caused all these accidents? <laughs> you don't sound convinced. What do you know about the history of this house? I can see that. But what do you like to do when you're not renovating Victorian mansions? Any hobbies? Do you think you'll be open in time with all of these accidents and delays? Charlie, are you sure there isn't more to these accidents that you're not telling me? Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. Have you ever heard of him? Valdez, I mean. I guess. Were you down here then? I don't remember seeing you. Rose told me that there have been a lot of accidents lately. What do you think is causing them? Hi, Charlie. You must have a lot of experience to work on such a big house. Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really have their hands full with this house. I should get going. Talk to you later. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. I found a hidden passageway in the library. Do either of you know what gumbo foo means? I was spying on Lewis and saw him take a book from the library. He put it in his briefcase. I found a secret room in the basement, and it looks like someone is living there. I also found out that Rose recently took out a large insurance policy on the house. There was a small fire in the house, but luckily I put it out. But the old papers that Abby found were destroyed. Abby hosted a seance and contacted the spirit who's haunting the house. I found some letters written by E. Valdez. I guess he was the owner of a hotel named The Golden Gardenia, an old playbill for a musical called The Bandit's Treasure. Listen to this. I found a secret attic and an old desk. It looks like no one's been in there for years. Rose is really lucky. This antique dealer, Louis Chandler, is helping her out, although he doesn't know very much about the house's history. I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young, and I don't think he has much experience. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Have you noticed the dead flowers in the parlor? Do you know where I can find a paint scraper? Did the house come with a lot of furniture? You mentioned Charlie was suspicious. How so? Between apartments? That seems kind of odd. Is Charlie from the Bay Area? Does Charlie live around here? Are you sure you haven't caused any of these accidents with your stunts? Why did you go to all the trouble to do this? I found out how you wired the house to make it haunted. The only ghost who walks these halls is you, Abby. A woman in men's clothing? That sounds strange. Was there anything else in the photograph that was... Odd? Do you have any idea who this woman might be? Do you know what gumbo foo is? Do you know who this phantom could be? Do you think it was a ghost? Yes, it was. How did you know? I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? Were there any photographs with the papers? Historical display? Was there anything about the house in them? I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? How long have you known Rose? Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. Have you seen the poem in my room? What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. Have you been creating these accidents to help promote the bed and breakfast? Do you mean Charlie? Are you the ghost who is haunting this place? Have you been creating these accidents to help your promotion? I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> That was a pretty good show you gave. What do you mean? Do you have any more information on Mr. Valdez? Well, 
You'll be the first to know if I find a ghost floating over my bed. Who could this restless spirit be? Do you think these spirits are responsible for the recent accidents? Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? Why would someone want to destroy those papers? Why do you say that? I'm convinced that this house is haunted. I'm just not sure who is responsible. And you do? How do you know I don't believe in ghosts?